Hi everyone. How did you get to know Noah's Ark broadcast? It's a blessing for you to meet Noah's Ark broadcast. Congratulations. The right out truth leads your way. The only way to be saved in the flood of sin is to get on the ark. Come to Christ, who symbolized the Noah's Ark. Now, I am going to talk about the corruption of will in human nature. People are corrupt in their nature. The decay of nature and the soul has spread throughout all its function. First, our understanding, second, our will, third, our emotion, fourth, our conscience, and fifth, our memory are all corrupt. But today, I will tell you about the corruption of will. The will, the function of command, was first royal to God and followed his will. But now he has turned into a traitor. But now he has turned into traitors. People appreciate their free will and go so far as to overestimate it. Human free will can only receive moral training, never react to spiritual things. Let's take a look at these six things to uncover the plague that has spread on human will. The will of man, the will of man reveals the perfect incompetence of good things. The will of man is bound by shackles of Satan, surrounded by borders of evil and cannot escape from it as the dead cannot rise from their graves themselves. People know what's right, but they only follow wrong things. Men's conscience tells them what is right, and they acknowledge what is right, but they will never go right way. The corruption of will is bounding, binding life like chains, and they cannot hold the right path. It is considered to be a story that can be heard about heaven and hell, but it cannot hold on to good and holy things. Human will hate good. Sin is a natural element of man. What do you mean? It means that everybody is born guilty and that everyone is sinner. Psalm chapter 51 verse 3, my sin is always before me. Now, I want to give you some evidence of how much human will hate good, how much kids hate regulation, how much you refuse to be constrained. In other words, a man's will is rough and stubborn. The will of man is like a wild donkey, panting because of sexual desire, so there is no one who can stop it. Evidence in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 24. You may have been panting because of their sexual desire for wild ash hold, and who will stop it at its rot? A person's will hates and struggles with good and pious duty. The Bible proves that people are often obligated to go to God, but their faces face the world and their hearts follow greed. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 31, their hearts are greedy, their hearts are greedy. They quickly get tired of good things. This is because good and holy duties do not conform to their corrupt nature. They can concentrate so much that they don't have enough time to satisfy their greed. But how heavy and hard it is to good things, such as prayers, sermons, and Bible research. 
Women's will can sometimes be reflected in the light of truth and resolve to abandon his sins, but you can't think of cutting it off right now. You still have enough time, so you will postpone it later. Conscience tells you, if you hear his voice today, do not harden your heart, but his thoughts in his heart. I'll do it tomorrow. Not now. I'll do it tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. Third, human, human will tends to lean toward evil in nature. Corrupt will literally lean away from God and toward retreat. Hosea chapter 11 verse 7 said, My people are determined to turn from me. My people are determined to, to turn from me. This is as if they were pouring water from the mountain and flowing down without going up. And there is no doubt about it, as if the flame were going up, not down. The first place for young children is the evil path. Their tendencies are clearly inclined to evil. Even though no one has taught them about evil things, young children are cursing, lying, rude, greedy, and unwilling to listen to their parents. Children can move around things better than scale ones at the same weight. This is because the round things move better. A round thing move just by touching it. Likewise, human will move easily on evil paths. But on holy Lord, it is extremely heavy. We can see that reason is that the will of human is biased. No matter what good impression a human receives, the impression does not rest wrong. The human mind is like fluctuation water and cannot keep it impression. His heart works not to accept good impression, and when he is impressed, he tries to, to shake them off and eventually return to the original club nature. Hojia chapter 6, verse 4. Your love is like morning clouds or dew that disappears. Morning clouds in indicate the possibility of rain, but when the sun rises, they disappear. The sun shines on the early morning dew and evaporates it. Therefore, the farmer's expectation for rain are frustrated. Like this, human world is far from good. A man turns a little from a shameful path because of some painful failure or stinge guilt, but his attributes still run counter to God. His attributes still run counter to good because this is not a new, renewed will of man's will. So he goes back to sin. Throwing stone. Throwing stone seems to stay in the air, but just as they come down again because of their weight, people wash themselves for a while, but their dirty nature, like a pig, does not change. First, the will of man, there is an open hostility and antipathy against God and his holy will. Before the fervent, Man's will acted as God's representative in the soul, but now man's will is against God. First, you have, you have enemies and antipathy toward God. A proud man wants no, wants no one above him. The traitor wants no king above him. He who is united by arrogance and rebellion may not have God. When you seek God, the judge who curses for your sin, demands holiness, and punishes for your death, you immediately antagonize him. You try to erase the doctrine of God's strict righteousness, such as 
thorn in their eyes, even in their own thoughts. Second, you have a great hostility and keepers toward Christ, the Son of God. In man's heart, there is an antipas to Christ, so he will try to kill his heir, Christ, and join the peasant who drive him out of the vineyard. This analogy appears in chapter 20 of the Gospel of Luke. The owner of the vineyard is God, and the heir, of, and the heir is Christ. The vineyard own, owner made a vineyard and entrusted it to the farmers, and the owner sent the heir to receive the harvest, which is a metaphor that farmers killed the heir Christ. As such, people are not only different to Christianity, people are not only indifferent to Christianity but also hostile to Jesus Christ. What is that? Because there is hostility and the antipas to God in the will of man. It is also hostile to Christ, whom God sent to save man. So you have great hostility and antipas to the Holy Spirit of God. God is Holy Spirit. Corrupt human nature is not clean and perfect not to be holy, therefore, Man goes against the Holy Spirit of God. Acts chapter 7, verse 51. You always resist. You always resist the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit approached the world for sin, righteousness, and judgment. John chapter six, 16, verse 8. When he comes, he will convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. Man will treat the Holy Spirit like an enemy and tries to ignore the reproach. It keeps, it keeps itself busy as if Cain was busy building and building a city, turning away from the Holy Spirit reproaches. Others, like Felix, Acts chapter 24, verse 3. Like Felix put the blame on the Holy Spirit behind them with various excuses. Others try to drive out, drive away the reproach of Holy Spirit by sleeping. As such, man's will is hostile and hostile to God, to Christ the Son of God to the reproach of Holy Spirit. What hope can be given to such a man's will? I will send you a message of hope a little later. Fifth, in the will of man, there is stubbornness against God. Man's will insist on evil process. A man is stubborn even if he is ruined by a decent of will. He sticks to his path like a horse running on the battlefield. He sticks to his path like a horse running on the battlefield. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 6. Like a horse running toward the battlefield. Like a horse running toward the battlefield. The word of truth has a life guaranteed command. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 4, keep my commands and you will live. Keep my commands and you will live. The sinners who do not repent are those who destroy themselves. They are like a servant who intentionally starved to death in violation of his forbidden orders. The heart is as hard and hard as stone. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26, strong heart such as a stone. You cannot melt your heart with mercy. You cannot break it with judgment. The stubborn will break before it is bent. 
Six is the will of a person is completely crooked in relation to the purpose of human existence. The purpose of human existence have become not God, but himself. God said to Moses, I am who I am. But man cannot exist on his own. Humans are creatures. Therefore, humans are relevant and dependent. Everything he has comes from God, the earth, the body, the soul, family, the place of life, and all the things above it has come to God. Like this, man was built to see God for his main purpose, relying on him. But because of the de depravity, a man has become detached from God and has come to rely on himself, not on God. Even in religious activities, their best goal is themselves. They offer relief and prayer for their names. They practice religious duties for their own benefit. They pursue their own peace to seek salvation from hell and wrath at best. And furthermore, to aim for one's eternal happiness, they really look for God, but not for Him, but for themselves. This is only for their own well-being. And in fact, they are not looking for God at all. Therefore, their entire lives are used as a means to God for their own purpose. Their main purpose is themselves. The will of man has become formed self-centered. You should no longer call it free from. You should, you should no longer call it free from, but you should call it a slave of passion. Because of man's will has no hope until he is blessed to be reborn, to soften his heart as hard as a stone, as soft as fresh. In this desperate state, you still have to, you still have work to do. In this desperate state, you still have work to do. You are praying on your stomach. May the Holy Spirit touching grace come to you. Remember Christ who symbolized the Noah's Ark. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19. Remove, remove the heart of stone and give it heart or tender as fresh. I will end Noah's Ark broadcast. Remember Christ. May Christ's grace be with you. Thank you.